black ash cane. When he sees a problem, he goes out and solves it. Well, I've always liked detectives that the line is blurred when it comes to right and wrong if it gets the job done. Another thing that I really enjoyed about this book was descriptions of Chicago. I've had the pleasure of going, and I absolutely love the town. It's my kind of town. <laughs> oh, where have I heard that before? I agree with you. Chicago was almost a character of his own yeah, definitely. in this story. It was a very promising first installment. I will definitely read more. Thank Ian for taking time to talk with us. My new and noteworthy book is called Cold Case North, The Search for James Brady and Absalom Halkett. It is by Michael Nest, Deanna Redder, and Eric Bell. It is the story of the unsolved murder of indigenous activists police investigation misconduct, and the community who tracked down the clues which officials failed to uncover. It came out November 7th by the University of Regina Press. My new and noteworthy book is The Malt in Our Stars, third in the Literary Pub Mystery Series by Sarah Fox. It's published by Kensington Books and comes out on November 24th. There's some shady business in Shady Creek, Vermont this spring in the third mystery by USA Today bestselling author Sarah Fox featuring pub owner and amateur sleuth Sadie Coleman. My new and noteworthy book is Girls of Bracken Hill by Kate Moretti. It came out on November 1st and it's put out by Thomas and Mercer Books. Haunted by her sister's disappearance, a troubled woman becomes consumed by past secrets in this gripping thriller from the New York Times best-selling author of The Vanishing. My new and noteworthy book is Requiem for a Female Serial Killer by Phyllis Chesler. It came out November 12th, published by New English Review Press. This book will challenge everything you ever thought about prostitutes, serial killers, and justice in America. Trivia! Last week's question was, which author was awarded a Doctor of Letters instead of a Ph.D. based on his first published book? A. Clive Cussler B. John D. MacDonald C. George Plimpton or D. Dan Brown? The answer is A. Clive Cussler. The Board of Governors of the Maritime College, State University of New York, considered the Sea Hunters in lieu of a Ph.D. thesis and awarded Clive Cussler a Doctor of Letters degree in May of 19. 97. It was the first time since the college was founded in 1874 that such a degree was bestowed. This week's question is, Ruth Rendell was fired from her first job as a reporter. After high school, she became a feature writer for the local Essex paper, the Shigwell Times. She was forced to resign after filing a story about a sports club dinner she hadn't attended and what a she failed to report the after-dinner speaker had died midway through the speech b she made up the scores c she named the incorrect teams or d she confused cricket with rugby good luck we thank you for listening and that you will join us next time. You and can visit our website at darkstormybc.com. You can find our email there where you can send us your recommendations or reviews. You can also sign up for our newsletter there. You can listen to every single one of our episodes. We'd love you to do that. So remember, life would be boring without a little mystery. Bye. Bye.